Let's go, boys. Hey, let's go, man. Pop it out of that end zone, yeah. Come on, boy. Get it up in the air. Coach was doing a lot of talking. I mean, I don't know why, but he was doing a lot of talking. Come on, Lenny. Pump it in there, baby. Just keep matriculating the ball down the field, boys. You know, you matriculate a school. I don't know. I remember the word. <laughs> I, it came out, you know. He was always that vocal on the sidelines. He always had those little funny things that he said. There was too much leakage on that play. There's too much leakage down there, I'll tell you that, boys. Now, I don't know where those came, uh, where those words came from. Hank Stram would always say, all right, Lenny. Uh, he called me Leonard. Leonard. Throw that thing on the outside, Leonard. Throw it any time. I'd come to the sidelines, and, and Hank would say, Lenny, you got to do this. You got to do that. You got to work on this. You got to do this. You got to keep throwing those short passes, Morty. That's like stealing out there. See, that stuff in front is like stealing. We got to do more of it. It was just a spontaneous thing that comes out uh, when I'm playing golf or when I'm in competition. Here, here comes a reverse coming from, from tight eye. Here comes a reverse from tight eye. Could be wide open here coming up. Tight eye reverse. We got a reverse coming from tight eye. Austin Fakes gives it to Pitts on a reverse. He's got blockers. Pitts to the 45. Pitts to midfield and knocks it back. Was that reverse there, boys? <laughs> yeah, it was there, wasn't it, boys? It was there, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, Coach, yeah, you did it. You called it, Coach. That's all. <laughs> he likes that. Coach likes it. He likes that. He likes to be on the stage. The one other thing that was really impressive about, about the footage was how he would work the officials. Mr. Official, let me ask you something. How can six of you miss a play like that, huh? All six of you. The ball jumped out of there as soon as we made contact. I thought, I thought, you, were, I thought you were talking about you being on the field. No. What? He would cajole. He would politic. He would. Uh, he would glad hand. Make sure you mark it right. Oh, you lost your place. Oh, they didn't make it. By God, they made that by an inch. He, he definitely gave an extra foot. Bad. Very bad. I just figured that there was a time and place for everything, and if you were going to chew them out. Chances are that if you're not careful, they would respond to that and make an adjustable call the next time. You see, in other words, they would remember that that uh, situation, and if it came up again, maybe they'd give me the break instead of calling it the other way. You did good. You did good. You marked it good. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Nah, he's all right. That's good. You marked it good. You marked it good. You did a hell of a job. Nice going. Great job. You marked it good. That's an excellent call. Those officials are doing a hell of a job. In talking us through some of um, some of the plays and in some of the action that was happening on the field, I think that we got a much better understanding of how complicated this game is. 65 toss power trap. Look for 65 toss power trap. What does it look like? Hey, look for our 65 toss power trap. Let's see what it looks like. 65 toss power trap was a series that we used at that particular time. 65 toss power trap. 60 was a series, 5 was the hole. Trap meant that Mo Mormon, our right guard, was going to pull to his left and trap Alan Page. Power meant that Freddie Arbanis would block down on the middle linebacker. And we hoped that Alan Page would chase Tyre and we'd just run inside for the touchdown. Well, that's exactly what happened. 65 toss power trap. That might pop wide open, Rats. Chiefs at the Vikings five yard line. Yeah. Dawson gives to Garrett. Big hole. Touchdown, Kansas City. Is that there, Rats? Nice going, baby. Yes, sir, Rats. Yeah! The mentor. 65 toss power trap. Yeah! Yeah! I told you that, baby. Yes, sir, boys. Woo! I just think it was a way of showing a football coach as a human being and a teacher that America had never seen before. Was that there, boys? The old mentor? You saw it again on television. Yo, coach pumped it in there, boys. That's him. That's him. He's on stage all the time. Those things he said all the time. And he, that's the way he enjoyed life. Uh, and that's, frankly, one of the reasons why he was fun to be around. I thought, you know, at the time the guy was nuts and he couldn't handle the situation, you know, and that's what I had on my mind until the next spring to find out that, you know, he was wired. I also found out that they asked Bud Grant to wire himself, and he told those folks, I believe, where they could take that, that, that microphone and put it. I'm not sure I even knew it was being done at the time, but uh, as it turned out with the Chiefs winning the game, I'm sure glad he was wired.